Hello friends. So today we shall be talking about transits. It is known as gochar in Hindi. When I will be talking about transit, it simply means that whenever you were born, up in the sky there were some planets and like a snapshot or like a screenshot those planets gets freezed in your birth chart you can say horoscope d1 chart but as you know that these planets will keep on moving ahead and there are some planets that moves faster than the others there are some planets who are very slow in motion and as these planets goes on progressing that is what we call as transits now transits are considered from two points in vedic astrology we always give a due uh, consideration to a planet how far is it from the moon and at the same time we are also supposed to consider the transits from the lagna house as well now why is it the moon and why is it the lagna we have to look at both see moon represents your mind your emotions your day to day life how you think as you yourself as an individual and lagna is how you would be perceived or others will look at you to give you an example suppose i come out from my bungalow in a car it could be an audi now a person standing outside how will he perceive me how will he look at me wow what a bungalow what a car okay this is what lagna the other person is going to look at you the moon if you look from moon it's going to be the person who owns the bungalow who stays in the bungalow and now he's sitting in the car who knows in the bungalow he just had a conflict with his wife who knows that he has a bungalow but he is completely bankrupt or he is sitting in the car but he he is with too much of stress maybe because of his wife his parents his children or whatsoever now this is what moon is so we have to look at a, at a transit both from the lagna as well as in the moon infuse it merge it and then we have to make a conclusion anyways let's go on the board and understand what transit is all about now here you can see transit in hindi is known as gochar planets stay in a sign how long a planet stays in a sign right then points to know regarding the transit so what are the points that we have we are supposed to know according to the planets that are moving now a planet stay in a sign sun stays for one month moon stays for 2.25 or you can say around for 54 hours mars stays in one sign in for 45 days mercury stays for 21 days venus 26 days jupiter remains in one sign 12.5 or you can say 18 months saturn remains in one sign 2 and a half years so it is 2 and a half years 2 and a half years 2 and a half years close to moon is known as sare sati because dhai 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 is sare sati so saturn is going to remain for 13 months sorry 30 months rahu and ketu are going to be in a sign for approximately 
19 months. Now, let us consider over here. Now, when you are analyzing a horoscope or a transit, what are the points that you have to consider? Analyze the transit from moon first. As I told you, it is the mind. And also from the lagana. Moon is the mind, emotions, feelings and day-to-day -day life. Both ascendant and moon result should be merged and see the overall result. Point number two. Transit of Saturn, Jupiter, Rahu and Ketu are the most important because they are slow moving planet. So the impact is going to be for a longer period and more intense. The following are the houses in which a given planet is considered benefic or malefic. That means positive or negative from the moon. Now here I am talking about moon. Now you can even consider from the Lagna also. Moon and Lagna both. Now planet, sun is very positive if he is in the 3rd, 6th, 10th and 11th house and similarly he is negative he, if he is in the other houses that is 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9 and 12. Moon is considered to be positive or will give you good result if it is in the 1st, 3rd, 6th, 7th, 10th and 11th from its own position. Please remember that. Moon from its own position in your birth chart. In the 2, 4, 5, 8, 9, 12, it's going to be considered as will give you negative results. Mars in the 3rd house, 6th house, 10th house and 11th house will give you good result. Whereas Mars in the 1st, 2nd, 4th, 5th, 7th, 8th, 9th and 12th is going to give you negative result. Jupiter in the 5th in the house, second house, fifth house, seventh house, ninth house, and eleventh house will give you good result, but not good result in the first house, third house, fourth house, eighth, uh, sixth house, eighth house, tenth house, and the twelfth house. It will not give you good result. Saturn is considered to be good in the third house, sixth house, and eleventh house. All the other houses, Saturn will not give you good result from the moon mercury will be good or positive in the second fourth sixth eighth tenth and eleventh house and not good or negative in the first the third the fifth the seventh the ninth and the twelfth house venus will give you good result in almost all the houses except the sixth house seventh house and the tenth house here it will not give you good results. So Venus from the moon or Lagna in the 6th, 7th and 10th maybe will not give you good result. Rahu will give you good result similar to Saturn but one more house is added over here. He will give you good result Rahu and Ketu. 3rd house, 6th house, 10th house and 11th house. All the other houses 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9 and 12. The results are not going to be positive. So this is all. I'm going to I'm going to talk about the transit in maybe two or three videos to go in the depth to teach you. <clears throat> so this was all about the transit. If you wanted to know about the transit, and some people had written down to me in the comment box, and I, that's uh, why I have made this video. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please uh, share this video, like this video at least like this video and if you haven't still subscribed to my channel do subscribe to my channel please and click on the notification bell icon also thank you so much the next video is going to be the same topic but in hindi